Morning, YouTube. Hey, uh, moving along with taking this truck apart, and I just thought I'd show you this. I got the carpet out of the cab, and uh, this is what I mean when I say that this cab is done. That's the cab floor. Completely separated from the back wall. Nothing left of the rocker. Look at this up here. <laughs> this dude is done. So, for those of you who would be upset that I would scrap a truck that um, would still have some good life left in it. There isn't any left in this one. Um, we're getting as much life out of this one as we can just by scrapping it out. So, just thought I'd take some footage of this cab because it's done. I'm down underneath the truck here unbolting the transmission here now. Get the drive shaft out. Dropping the cross member here, and then I'll put my transmission jack under it and then unbolt it from the engine. But I uh, thought I'd show you this. I think that cab has been sagging for a while. There's a piece of uh, composite decking <laughs> wedged up in here as a spacer between the frame and the cab. And it's tight. I can't get it out. I just thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, this cab is gone, and it is just gone. Look at the rust on some of these fasteners. Granted, those are rivets, but look at those bolts. There's no way in the world I was getting those out. That's what Northeast Ohio winters will do for you. Crusty. So I'll bring you back in here when I've got something else to kind of report, but... Um, Gonna drop the transmission out of this thing. Um, probably then I'll pull the front end apart just to make access a little bit easier to do the compression test once my parts get here from a compression tester. And then we'll keep plugging along. Alright, guys, well, the teardown continues. Got the AC condenser, the transmission cooler. They had a little aux tranny cooler on here. See that one there. Um, got the radiator out, all the rad hoses, all that fun stuff. Got um, E4OD on the ground. Drive shaft is out. Getting down to the skinny end of things here. I just figured I'd take some footage here show you what the inside of a 372,000 mile power stroke looks like now well you can see all of that but um, I'll be better without this maybe it's pretty doggone clean Not looking shabby at all. So I've got one valve cover off. I've got uh, about two bolts left in the other one here. Another five minutes or so, I should have that one off as well. We'll go ahead and pull the glow plugs and do a compression test and see what we find. Really hoping for good results, but I um, guess we'll know shortly. <laughs> 